Welcome friends, in this video let's discuss about Central Indian and Rajasthani school of painting. This Central Indian and Rajasthani school of painting flourished during 17th to 19th century and the important feature of this Rajasthani school of painting is that these paintings are deeply rooted in Indian traditions and Indian mythology and folklore, taking inspiration from Indian epics like Ramayana, Mahabharata and religious texts like Purana, love poems in the Sanskrit and other Indian languages and Indian folklores and works on musical themes. So this Central Indian and Rajasthani school of painting are deeply rooted in, in Indian culture and heritage, especially the Hindu culture. Okay, And these are deeply religious. These are deeply religious. We, in our last video uh, about Mughal painting, uh, we learned that Mughal painting were deeply secular and aristocratic. But here it is not like that. It is deeply religious related to the gods and his stories. Okay? And the important theme here is the cult of Vaishnavism, Shainism, Shaivism and Shakti are also depicted in the paintings. And the cult of Lord Krishna is the most famous among among, among all these cults and these are more 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 frequently depicted in various schools of Rajasthani paintings. So the important themes that are uh, mentioned in the paintings are Ramayana, Mahabharata, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavata Purana, Shiva Purana, Nishada Charita, Usha Aniruddha, Gita Govinda of Jayadeva. So this is the uh, creator of this uh, work, Gita Govinda and Rasamanjari of uh, Banudatta, Banudatta, Amaru Sadaka, Rasika Priya of Keshav Deva, Bihari Satasai and Ragamala. So these are not per se the paintings, these are the works like poet, poems and literary works based on which the paintings are made. Okay, here Ragamala is not a painting, it is a work and based on this, this theme, the paintings are made. Okay. Please remember, this Ragamala comes uh, several times in the coming, coming, coming slides. So, this is a work, not a painting. Please remember, based on this work, the paintings are made. And let's look at the different schools of painting uh, in Rajasthani school. This include Malwa, Mewar, Bundi Kota, Amber, Jaipur. So, initially Amber was the capital uh, for the region and later it shifted to Jaipur. So, Amber, Jaipur and Bukaner, Marwar and Kishankar. So these are the different schools of uh, painting in Rajasthan. And let's look at the origin of uh, Rajasthan school of painting. So it originated by in, by imbibing the uh, painting styles of Western Indian and Chaura Panchasika style during 16th century. And Raj Rajput rulers are also the allies uh, and uh, subordinates of the Mughal emperors. So they employed artists to work at their courts. Artists of the Mughal emperor empire to work in their courts since the Mughal emperors employed the finest or the fine uh, artists only the whatever left uh, second grade artists are work, work, have worked under uh, Rajput rulers so the the the, the, um, the Mughal artists are of imperial merit, inferior merit are, are employed by Rajput because of the lack of uh, skilled artists okay and let's look at the important features of Rajput paintings so the important feature of these painting are they are bold okay and strong and they use contrasting colors so highly contrasting colors they are very harsh uh, not very cool compared to mughal paintings and the treatment of figures is flat there is no three dimensional perspective here the figures are flat okay only two, two dimension without any attempt to show perspective in the naturalistic manner so the figures are very flat in the Rajasthani school of painting and sometimes the surface of the painting is divided into several compartments okay surface of the painting is divided into several compartments of different colors in order to separate one scene from the another so this is the important feature okay and each school of painting has its own distinct facial type costume landscape and color scheme which are influenced by the local conditions okay so this is the important features of the uh, Rajasthani school and first let's look at the Malwa school. So the first work, initial work was done on Rasika Priya dated to 1634 and a series of Amaru Sataka painted in 1652 at a place called Nasratgar. Okay, so these two are the works Rasika Priya and Amaru Sataka. So based on this 
works paintings were made and a series of ragamala painted in 1680 ad by an artist named madhudas so and madhudas at uh, nasrain garsha okay so these are the works under malwa so this is a painting depicting the scene from the ramayana here this is ravana ravana uh, uh, came to sita for arms uh, before kidnapping so this is a scene from ramayana and look at the face only two dimensions no three dimensional perspective is given here the pictures are facing only one side so this shows the 2d flatter faces in the rajasthani school of painting and second important uh, school under rajasthani school of painting is mewar painting the earliest example of mewar painting is a series of ragamala painted in 1605 as i mentioned earlier ragamala is a work remember and next is an, another important series of ragamala was painted by Shibdin in 1628 and works on Ramayana are also made under Mewar school of painting. This is third book of Ramayana called Aranyakanda in 1651 and seventh book that is the Uttarakanda of Ramayana dated 1653 were made and various uh, uh, various other themes like uh, uh, Krishna Lila are also depicted. Look at the picture. This is the Mewar painting and next is Bundi school of painting. So this school of painting has similar characteristics of uh, Mewar painting, but this Bundi school of painting is superior to that of uh, uh, that of Mewar painting. Look at the compare these pictures. This with the this this is superior uh, in in quality. Okay, and an illustrated manuscript of Bhagavata Purana is also uh, made under Bundi school of painting, and Krishna's Lila is increasingly depicted in this school of painting. Manuscript is is a work by writing on hand. Okay, written manuscript. And next school of is Kota. Kota. It is similar to Bundi school, and it flourished during 18th to 19th century in the Kota region of Nar Rajasthan. Okay. And the important theme under Kota school is the themes of tiger and bear hunt. Hunting of tiger and bear in the in the forest were very popular at Kota. Okay. And in Kota paintings, most of the space is occupied by the hilly jungle. Okay. Jungle. Uh, hilly jungle is uh, occupied uh, in the paintings, and they. this has rendered it a unique charm okay so this is the kota painting so forest scenes are more uh, depicted in the kota paintings and next is amber and jaipur school of painting and this is one of the finest works among the uh, uh, rajput school of painting and this finest works date, dated from the reign of uh, pratap singh okay and splendid portrait and some large paintings of the sports of krishna so krishna lila and various pranks of the krishna are depicted in the jaipur school of painting look at uh, the krishna here okay krishna and the stories of krishna are pro 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 uh, projected in, in this jaipur school of painting and portraits of kings and queens are also made in the amber and jaipur school of painting so next is kishangarh school of painting this is also flourished in the 18th century under the patronage of raja savant singh from 1748 to 1757 and he wrote a devotional poetry in praise of lord krishna under the assumed name of nagaridas please remember this raja savant singh wrote a devotional poetry in praise of lord krishna under the assumed name of nagaridas okay and this is also seen from the uh, krishna leela so and the most charming under this is the most charming under rajasthan school of painting and the, the master painter under kishanar school is nihal chand during during 18th century so this is very attractive look at look at look at the painting here and thank you thanks for watching uh, this rajasthan school of painting even though there are a lot of things to uh, tell about rajasthan school of painting it confuses a lot uh, to you so this is enough uh, uh, culture is very infinite topic as you go deeper and deeper you will get stuck in that so thank you thanks for watching limit your sources thanks